In the world of ballet, you need to be seen as strong emotionally and physically. Because we can do things with our bodies that most people can't. It takes a lot of effort to look effortless. In Wiradjuri, we talk about Yinjamara, which means to go slowly and with respect. That's how I feel when I dance. Time slows down and I feel graceful and grateful that I have been given this body in which to dance. I had to grow up pretty quickly when I plunged headfirst into the ballet world at age 15. Becoming the first Aboriginal woman to dance for the Australian Ballet, I found very daunting and alienating at first. I still endure today harsh criticisms about not being exactly right, and I never feel like I truly belong in either the ballet or the Bangara world. My culture and my heritage pull me in one direction, but I have somehow fused ballet into my bones so deeply that it has become part of my DNA. But I knew that I had to do this for the next generation. I had to tell my story and my mother's story and pay my respects to my people and to make them proud. Dance for me has always been a healing space and knowing that my ancestors danced thousands of years before me fills me with a sense of interconnectedness. In the corps de ballet, I've had to hold many poses for varying lengths of time. Your whole body starts to cramp and your mind wanders and it becomes a meditation to keep focused on the music. Keeping good posture is one of the most beautiful gifts that you can give to yourself. It feels a lot more effortless to just hold your neck in a position of confidence and power. You really start to feel like you're transforming into a bird when you run and leap into the air. That feeling of lift comes from that, that natural flow. My name is Ella Havelka and I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman from central New South Wales. Making education more nurturing and accessible creates a brighter future for all. By assisting First Australian youths to reach their fullest potential, we open doors for a whole new generation. Thank you.